Hey guys, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving weekend. I spent Thanksgiving with my entire extended family and we usually do like a sort of potluck kind of deal where everyone kind of just brings in what they want. And this year I brought in baked mac and cheese or bacon mac and cheese and um, pumpkin pie. So, oh my God, Daisy. And so my family is pretty much savages we just kind of grab whatever we want and fill up our plate and pig out so that's our thanksgiving anyway i figured it was time for an update so here goes so right now the tank is still looking really good my anubias just sprouted a new leaf right here um the water sprite has grown out of control there are about two four five like stems growing out of that one and another one and little baby one about to sprout right there so I'm gonna have to trim that down again pretty soon the sword has so many leaves now so I'm gonna have to trim that down pretty soon the dwarf sage has gotten a little crazy in the tank this one is growing really tall actually taller than the other ones so um, I don't really know why that is and then the java moss is starting to get crazy so I'm gonna have to do some trimming here pretty soon but the last time I counted oh there's a little baby right there do you see him he's right there the last time I counted I had three babies in total so it's looking good um, mama bear has started growing a new saddle oh sorry I can't really see her but She's starting to grow a new saddle, so maybe she will be ready for another set of eggs pretty soon here. Oh, and here's another little baby. How adorable. I am just so excited to see these guys grow up. But I just did a feeding yesterday. They seem pretty good. Um, this leaf has started to get eaten up, so what I did was I put some new leaves in here with some Bacter AE and Sea Chem Stability to start growing some biofilm on there. But because Daisy got to the bag, some of them are all messed up. But whatever, the shrimp are going to eat them anyway. So I did end up having to put the Anacharis in here with the leaves because they were just getting eaten up by the shrimp. And if you look at these leaves, this is all that's left, pretty much, of the anacharis that grew in my tank. That's it. And it's so sad because they were doing so well. But I think it's because I put the Flourish Excel in there, which is actually really bad for anacharis. So I've stopped dosing that. I just have two bottles that I'm never going to use again. But whatever. They're in this tank now hoping that they will regenerate their leaves because the tops are sprouting some new stuff. I don't know if you can see that. But it doesn't look like it's completely dead, so I still have some hope for them. Now, as far as my brackish water tank goes, <laughs> this tank is looking a little bit crazy right now. Um, the dwarf sag here is doing a lot better. So there is some new growth right at the base right there. And then I do have a runner right over there, right in front of the shell. So the dwarf sag is doing okay. The moss balls are doing okay, except I have the light on in this tank for about 12 hours a day because I wanna grow algae on the glass um, for my shrimp but it's also growing a bunch of hair algae that's pretty much like everywhere um this shoot i forget what this is called this is called pennywort yes so the pennywort is doing okay in some spots there is some new growth um some of the leaves are completely brand new and those are doing good but the other leaves like that one right there those are melting i'm gonna have to pluck those out and then these ones up top closer to the light have become like infested with like algae or I don't know what that is but I'm gonna leave that there I don't know if I should take the leaves out or if I should just leave it but if you guys know let me know and then my water sprite 
Let's see if I can get you a better view. So the water sprite, as you can see, the old leaves have started to really brown up, but there are new leaves sprouting in this water. So looks like these are going to do good. Once they get a little bit bigger, I'm going to pluck the old leaves off of it. And then, yeah, the java moss is doing okay. The snails are doing okay. The kato is growing. Um, and the java fern, the java fern looks okay for now. So everything looks okay except my hermit crab did eventually die. So he was on his back for quite a while and he just didn't make it. And I don't know how I could have helped him. But yeah, so it's just the shrimp and the snails in this tank now. I've actually tried to feed my shrimp some of the samples that Dave had sent me, like the MK breed red diamond and <clears throat> sorry the borneo wild grow but they don't really like it at all and maybe that's because they're just so used to eating algae i do feed them a pellet food where is it it's down here somewhere so this i've shown in other videos it's just a crushed up pellet food and this is the only thing that they will eat so i put in about four pellets every week and that's all I feed them because they find enough food in the tank but um yeah I guess that's pretty much it my shrimp are doing okay there's just so much algae in here I'm probably gonna have to pull that out oh yeah and I do have a nacarus in here too so the nacarus is completely covered in algae right now so that one's probably not gonna make it this one might make it and then this one, oh my gosh, this one. This one is the only one looking to be doing good. Because if you look right there, it's got a little bit of growth. It's really, really slow growth, but it's very green and vibrant. And I think that one is going to make it. And that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to do a water test later tonight and water changes if necessary. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.